This is what I'm doing now. The mind of madness. Otherwise known as the quest where we get to meet Shiogaroth. The bloody mad genius. What a mad genius he is. Why are there quest markers literally everywhere? You don't look <clears throat> so good. Are you feeling all right? Stop asking me if I'm feeling good. Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. You sure Falk asked me to check it out? That's a lie. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. If what? If Birdie caught me chatting, I'd never hear the end of it. Okay, good night. Da 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 Yay! After watching the the corpus language with better name pending, the only thing I have to say is, yay. Wrong way. Up and at him. Spider webs. Spider webs. Spider Man has been here. Up. Oh, I've been interrupted by the loading screen. Oh, I couldn't goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables <laughs> to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. Huh. You are far too hard on yourself. My dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance? Sing? Smile? <laughs> grow old? <laughs> you are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. A dragon you know, god. I yes, indeed. I was there indeed. for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! Cheese? To die for. The cheese was to die for? Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to run well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. <laughs> Give me a moment. I'm having a drink. Oh yeah. Um. How hello. rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. <clears throat> yeah, who were you were talking to? Even though we clearly, clearly, we, we clearly heard who you're talking to. <clears throat> We, myself, me, and I. Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. <laughs> okay, I'm here to give you a message, Boyle. Really? Oh, oh. What kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait! A summons! Uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well? Spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Oi! Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Were you now? Yep, that's right. By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. 
Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Nope. Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Oh, nope. Or was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall. <laughs> no, not him either. I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? That's <laughs> right. No matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're <laughs> dealing with here. All I know is that your home planet needs you to return. Oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. I mean, really. Here you stand before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. <laughs> well, does that mean you're bored and you're gonna go away? Or does it mean you're gonna fall asleep and stay? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Seems simple enough. Is it? Dare to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Aww. Any idea where you are? Where you truly are! No. Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! <clears throat> You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, cool. I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The, the Wabba Jack. Jack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Uh, yeah, I did. Let's give this thing a good old fashioned let's go for it. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Oh, come on. It has no effect on you. Okay. One more for good measure. All right, then. Is he doing the fish stick? It's a very delicate state of mind. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins... Wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into battle. Here we go! 
Come on. Do the thing already. You seem to be having a small problem. Or perhaps it's a big problem. Maybe if you shrunk the whole thing down a little first. That's the best you can do. Here we go. My money's on this bit. What was that? You're out of your league. Here we go. Things. Oh. Ah! You can't be yeah. here. We go. You're out of your lead. Getting bored of this. You piss off. This is the end for you. Yes, yeah, right. Keep running. Okay, little thing. The other guy pissed off. And so will I. Come on. Oh, you didn't piss off. You came back. That's right, keep running. You've dug your own grave. What can I do for you? You can fuck right off. You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent.
Ain't this a surprise? <laughs> I guess I have to go down the right one first. Which would be this one. Ah! Hold still, you. I'm trying to shoot you with a charge of blast. On fire. Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Hey, got something to say? Pendle Squatch. That's what I have to say to you. Yes. <sighs> Moving right along. Oh, good choice. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. Ah. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. But she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. Yeah, yeah. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, <coughs> sort of. And we're that much closer to home. Now just one left. That bit with the wee angry lad. <clears throat> Which I spent way too much time on. Continue hate us. All you got. Ah! Here, take all the charges from the Ravage Axe. Spunk metal. That's what I have to say to you. Okay, your turn. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like uh, one does to a rash, one arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are. You have actually succeeded and survived. Oil. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Okay. How do I go? Police! 
Aegis Septum the Third. Once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. Hmm. Fixed is such a subject. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into. Well, I'm gone sick. Boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha ha! Ta-ta! Bye! How do I get the fuck out of here? Strawberry <laughs> tart indeed. Ah, wunderbar. Am I going the right way? I don't think I am. Yep, I'm going the wrong way. Is this the wrong way again? No, it's not. There! Done! Done diddle doodly done. Uh. And it only took a bloody fucking forever. Uh. And one of those. Alright. Well, um... That's, that's it. Till next time. Support my stupidity on Patreon.